We can't Good morning, what? Kind of in, I'm in a rush, so. Oh, yeah. let's get in the car first. We're rushing. So your keys are right here, I got them. so that she doesn't realize the vet is a scary place. <laughs> when Michi was younger, she was like, okay, cool, the vet's fine. And as she got older, she realized it was a bad place. So I know, yeah. she's nervous. <laughs> it's okay. So she looks when, when she sees that we're about to leave the house. She, she oh, shame. yeah. <laughs> Where are you hiding back there? Shut up, baby. It's okay. <laughs> She's hiding behind me because she's scared. She's finally relaxed now. She knows she's relaxed. So I'm reading this sign and check out this little guy right here. <laughs> How's your day going? It's okay. So we just came home from the vet and I just noticed it's the 600th episode that we're uploading. Woo! Oh, oh, I still got it! Hold up! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I still got oh! it. <laughs> I used to cheer in high school. I was cheer captain. I cheered in high school. I don't always say that. No, no, I, I, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I just make fun of you for it. <laughs> but anyways, this is a six, 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 six hundred, six, six, six hundred, six. Th we decided to do something, something a little more special. I think we should do. Get naked. Hello, you want my am guy? Wow! <laughs> so to celebrate our 600, six hundred, forget this that. word, six hundred well, episode. <laughs> yeah. So to celebrate that episode, this episode actually, we got a bunch of food, and we also want to introduce our new plan, and mm -hmm. hopefully it goes on as planned. <laughs> so yeah, we are. Um, we've been thinking about starting like. Kind of like a mukbang, but not really a mukbang. Mm -hmm. You know, like we're. I think a yeah. mukbang is, and correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's a challenge, right? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to try to eat all the food, uh, versus what we're trying to do here is we want to call this series sikfan. <laughs> and if you don't know what sikfan means, it's Cantonese for let's, let's eat. eat. It's oh. a saying that you say usually before mm -hmm. you start eating with everyone on the table. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. So then we thought about how fun it would be to kind of like do these maybe like once a month or if we got one more, I mean, I'm down. I love to eat. Um, so basically we'd want to do this once in a while where we just chat with you guys, chat amongst ourselves mm -hmm. over some bomb ass food. And today, yeah. to start off this episode, we got some Hong Kong style food. Yeah. We just thought it fit the setting, you know? <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't make sense if we call it sick fun, but we're having like Korean food yeah. or Mexican food. Mm -hmm. So we decided, let's do this. All right, well, um, it's been a long journey, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you guys so much for those who have stuck with us since, I don't know, the first 10 first episodes. Episode. <laughs> yeah, I first mean... episode. Or even, even if you're from like, the third hundredth episode. Even if we start the third hundredth? Three hundredth. Three hundredth episode? episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah it doesn't guys. matter if you've been OG mm -hmm. or NG. What is NG? OG's old, old original, original gangsta. And then so that's then you're the new gangsta. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for tuning in, whether you're just tuning in now or you've been tuned in since our first episode, mm -hmm. which was when you went to Boston. Yes. I think. Yeah. That's yeah. an old, really old episode. Yeah, that was yeah. like the beginning of our vlogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know right. why we decided to start vlogging either. It was just, I don't know, I don't even think the term vlogging was out here. It was mm -hmm. just making videos. For... I called it vlogging for the longest time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... 
Can't talk when I'm eating. <laughs> well, let me show you what we got. Oh, yeah, what do we... I yeah. got a. So this is a spam and egg instant noodle. Mm -hmm. Very Hong Kong style. Got some Hong Kong style French toast with peanut butter. Sai tosi. There's peanut butter inside. And then can't go wrong with the chow mein right here. This mm -hmm. is just soy sauce chow mein. Xia wang chow mein. And then this is zha leng, which is basically a rice roll with a Chinese fried donut mm -hmm. in the middle. And the sauce is where, it's like, that. I guess the best part is that um, this is peanut butter with like. Is it hoisin? I think some type of some sort savory. of dark soy sauce or something. <laughs> and then we have curry fish balls, a must. Curry fish balls are like my favorite. And then bolo yao, which is pineapple bun with butter. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. We love this. Also place. got a tong leng cha, ice lemon tea, and tong lai cha, ice milk tea. Ice milk tea. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. This is a lot of food. We're definitely gonna. Kind of finish. Oh, look at this butter. It's like liquidy. It's <laughs> melted already. Yeah, so I remember like our first episode. I think we decided to start our vlog channel when we knew that we were moving out for college. Mm -hmm. And then Wa went to Boston with his dad at the time. Yeah. And what did you guys do there? Like to visit? It was my brother's graduation. Mm. So then he went there, and then I think we were just like, all right, I guess this is the start of it because we wanted to start vlogging once we move out. And while he was in Boston that time, I came to LA and I was apartment hunting with my parents. And then we found that place with the green walls, if you oh guys remember. God. So many, so, many, so memories. many memories in that house. That had, that would be like the most memorable, memorable mm -hmm. house just because it was our first time, both of us, mm -hmm. first time moving out, um, really far from family and mm -hmm. we only had each other really. We didn't have a job. I need some. Yeah, me too. Now, now, when we first moved out to that place, I was really, really excited. And I guess this is stuff that we never even talked about in the vlogs because you only see what you see. But when I think back to those times when we first started vlogging, I feel so innocent. And those memories make We're me so, so yeah. happy. Yeah. I remember just coming home from school. Yeah. And like every day I came home, we had this hug that we would do. And I would like jump up to him and wrap my legs around your waist. And we just like twirl around <laughs> in circles. We were just so like... We're like kids. I mean, we still do stuff like that, but mm -hmm. that was like our thing back then. I would yeah. come home from school, while would be home, and I would always like jump. hugging, hugging, I like, hugging, hugging, and I jump on him, and mm -hmm. we would always do like groceries for fun. Mm -hmm. We didn't have many friends. We didn't have any friends actually. Let's just say. Yeah. So all we did was like hang out with each other and go grocery shopping, mm -hmm. couponing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so young. Yeah. I know. I, I loved those times. It was a much simpler time. Yeah. I mean, life is obviously great now too, but we all can look back to like a few years ago and think, damn, times were simpler back then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then what else in that house? We had in our relationship probably the most fights in that house though. Oh yeah. We fought a lot. Mm -hmm. We had a good relationship. I feel like our relationship has always been good. Yeah. But. A lot of people will say the third year mark is where, oh, you know, you start learning things about each other and start getting annoyed with each other. But because we moved in so early, mm -hmm. I think we sped up our relationship. So in that first two years of our relationship, we had a lot of arguments. And I can honestly say, I think most of them came from my insecurities and just me. Well, I'm glad you me. know. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me take that back right now. <laughs> you always said it, take it back. Yeah, because the first two years of us living together, I was really, really hormonal. Like my um, my period would used to make me very emotional, and it still does to this day. Okay, like y'all know that. But those first two years of like being on birth control and stuff, I think it really threw me off. I was yeah. really not myself. I had so many like ups and downs of emotions. And then I realized it was my birth control. Mm -hmm. So then I think around the time we moved out of there, I went to my doctor and I switched my birth control and then I was fine and I was cool after that. I mean, it wasn't just you though, cause like I played a big role in it too. Just us not, you know, not being, we, all, we were only dating each other for eight months mm -hmm. and we already moved in, you know, people you like traditionally people date for at least two, three yeah, years to get and to then know they each move other in. But because we did this so early on, like we were basically put in 
put in a cage of wolves and just started learning about each other there mm -hmm. and then versus, mm -hmm. you know, getting to know each other first before you did things to piss the other person off. Right. You know, like we didn't little things like washing the dishes, laundry. When you live with somebody, it's almost a hundred percent that your relationship with the other person will decline from there on you know you guys could be like best friends but as soon as, as soon as you guys move in together because of the differences mm -hmm. you just start yeah having those arguments and mm -hmm. stuff and i think yeah. we have that like hard because when we first moved in together i was the type of girl i wasn't like a princess or anything at home but there were certain things that i just didn't do in the house like i'd be doing like the dishes and i would clean the house but laundry was something that my sister always did so i did not know how to do i did not know how to do laundry and instead of actually learning and being like a contributing partner i just put that on wa and he had to always do laundry after he did the laundry i would never fold the laundry because I just hate laundry and I still hate laundry till this day, but mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. I feel like I have learned in our relationship that it has to be more of like a balance. It's not just because, mm -hmm. oh, the other person's been done it, so oh yeah, you do it then, you know? So in the beginning, we would always argue about that, like me being super messy, mm -hmm. not cleaning up after myself. I always left dishes in the sink. I never cleaned it. Um, it took her five years to do laundry, y'all. She didn't even do laundry until we moved to LA <laughs> separately and she had to do her own laundry. Yep. But even then, I would still come over and do her laundry. Yeah, he was always <laughs> the one to do the laundry. But now, I know the trick. You just <laughs> ain't trick? gotta do it. And then... Until it fills up? Until it fills up. And I then, have no more yeah. pennies left. Yep. <laughs> that yeah. That is the yeah. trick though. Yeah, um, so aside from those memories... Aside from the bad stuff, like there mm -hmm. were many, many great memories. I there. know, mm -hmm. so many good memories, like all our friends visiting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even though the house was small, like we made it work and it yeah. was just cool. Like I remember just feeling so grown up because we were our, I guess... Grown up, right? Yeah, like we were the first friends out of our group to have moved out and it was really cool to have our friends come over mm -hmm. and like see our place and we would take them to um like restaurants to eat and do you remember when we took them to lee sandwiches thinking like this is good y'all lee sandwiches this is good. Oh. and lee sandwiches is bomb but in the sangiru valley there are so 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 many better food yeah. than that but that was when we first moved to la and we saw lee sandwiches like everywhere we're like this has to be the spot. This is good. This is the this spot. Is so we would take everyone that visited to Lee's sandwiches. And this is, let us explain why we thought Lee's was amazing. Because we grew up in a town where it was like... It's suburbs. Asians were like super minorities. Like mm -hmm. we barely had any Asian food even around mm -hmm. the area. So when you come from an area like that to a area like the San Gabriel LA. Valley, mm -hmm. when there's where there's a bunch of like traditional like traditional deep to the bone type of food mm -hmm. you think anything is good anything that's better from from where you are from mm -hmm. it's better so that's why we thought it was amazing mm -hmm. until Girl. we try, started trying like mm -hmm. other like real Vietnamese foods then we we're like okay I guess there's yeah. things out there <laughs> all we knew from our town was like Olive Garden, Red Lobster, Applebee's, American ch chain, yep. chain restaurant. Oh. And that was the only good thing. And mm -hmm. the only boba we had from where we're from is Quick Lee. Quick Lee! <laughs> By the way, if you're watching this and you're not very familiar with the boba world and you think that Quick Lee's is where it's at, you missing out, okay? You, you need to, you <laughs> need to, I, I just need to introduce you to this world. You need to go on Yelp and type in <laughs> Real boba spots or something. Type in tea house. Tea house. Tea house. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. That's where it's at. Don't go to Quickly's. It is not good. Mm -hmm. There's so much better boba out there. When you taste boba or like any type of milk tea and you taste more milk than the tea, it's not good. It's not the right spot, girl. Mm -hmm. Milk tea is supposed to be a lot of tea mm -hmm. flavor. Like, and like fresh tea flavor. Fresh tea. Not like the powdered stuff. Yeah. Like actual good tea. Mm-hmm. Bobo guy from Shaman Fierce Club. Amazing. Mm, yeah. And <laughs> what was the place? What was my favorite? Plenty. Plenty. Mm -hmm. Plenty was like my favorite. Okay, now I'm gonna eat this toast. Oh! Oh! Wow. This is so good. And this mm -hmm. is like. What is this? Maple syrup? Well, is that? this like maple syrup? Probably. I don't know. Syrup. This was like my jam growing up. Every time my grandma would take us to uh, Oakland Chinatown, I grew up in like Oakland Chinatown. <clears throat> Literally grew up in Oakland, Chinatown. 
<laughs> as a kid, like almost every market knew me because <laughs> I would go grocery shopping with go grocery shopping with my grandma. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, like I knew everyone. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, this is what my grandma would always order for me That's and amazing. my little sister, Wincy. It's crazy. People are growing up. Even Wincy, my younger sister, is going to college. That was when we first started crazy. dating, you guys. Yo. We felt so grown at the time. It's like, this is my grown relationship. <laughs> so childish. <laughs> you think you're grown? What well, I mean? When you think you're grown, you're really just a child. Mm -hmm. I feel like until you reach like your 40s, maybe 35 actually, maybe around 35, you're starting to reach that mm. adulthood. Even for us now, I still, mm -hmm. I always tell him, I feel like I don't really feel like a woman yet because I'm still in between growing up and still, let me ask my mom first. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. still there. And I feel like until I reach the point of, I can really make decisions on my own, think for myself, and like really plan for the future, then I'll feel more like a woman, mm. right? Like, do you feel that way? Do you feel like you're a man yet? No, I feel like, <laughs> no, I feel like No, <laughs> right? No. I thought that by 25, I'm 25 now, I would feel like, oh, I'm grown. You know, I, I have everything figured out. I know exactly what I want to do, but that's not so much the case. I mean, I feel like I have like, 75% figured out, but not 100% there yet. Mm -hmm. This is yummy. <clears throat> it's really yummy. Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway. So back to the first apartment. We moved out of nowhere. Because we didn't even end our leash it, but... What happened was there were so many problems with the house. Mm. Did we ever talk about that? The landlord, typical Chinese guy, really nice, but stingy. the way very stingy, and the way he worked around to fixing things, like it was just like half-assed. Half-assed. It was like his friend that knew a little bit about. He's not even a contract. He's more like a handyman, mm -hmm. like a not very good handyman. So not um, good at all. So an okay, handyman. He could have killed us. <laughs> And um, yeah, way too many problems with the house. Um, crickets, bugs was a huge problem. Um, the biggest problem would be the heating and cooling system. Yeah. Oh my god, the temperature. Woo! The insulation of that house was so crap. There was no insulation. If it was winter, it felt like you were in the North Pole. Yeah. If it was summer, it felt like you were in like the Sahara Desert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. So and we finally bugs had to. Everywhere. Yeah, bugs was. Yeah. So we finally were just like, yo, like. We gotta go. <laughs> this is too much. Like, constantly something is being fixed. Constantly, you know, something happens, basically. Mm -hmm. And even they were tired of it, honestly. They were like, they were really nice. They were like, yo, I get it. How about we have the option to just terminate the lease? And then we're yeah. like, great, perfect. And he didn't charge us, so we, yeah. we dipped out of there. Yeah. But the problem with the cooling was. First of all, the AC never came on. And if it did, it comes on for like 20 minutes and then and it will shut down. Mm -hmm. We're like, okay. So we would, you know, try to study and stuff. That was when we were still in college. We try to study in that heat. Girl, mm -hmm. this LA heat is no joke. Yeah. In a house that like is super tiny, it's not even on a raised foundation or anything. Mm -hmm. The house was so hot, it was cooking in there. And Michi would be struggling. <laughs> mm, and then aside from the AC, our heater never, I don't even know the terms, but it would never start. And It would start for like 10 minutes and then it would just shut off. So we constantly had to keep turning it on and off and on and off. And it was just, it was just too much. And then one day when we finally decided to move, we had someone else that's like actually qualified to come check on the gas. Or not the gas, the heater. Mm-hmm. He said that that thing could have exploded at any moment mm -hmm. because of the way the previous guy was taking care of it. He just like did like a half-assed job, I guess. Mm -hmm. And when he checked it, he was like, this is really dangerous. Like you guys could have been in here when it exploded and it could have killed you. Mm -hmm. So he told us just to turn it off. Don't even use him. And that's mm -hmm. when we called the landlord. Yeah. But yeah, it took us about two weeks to find a new place. Mm -hmm. And then 
that's when my cousin <clears throat> and G moved in with us for a little bit. And then me and him rented a place and then Whaley had her own place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was fun. I know, that really was fun. Really fun days. Although we lived separately in there, mm -hmm. then um, we would always sleep over each other's mm -hmm. places. It was almost useless. I know. To have two places. Mm -hmm. But it was a good like time to just be apart. Like, for us, because we had so many arguments in that house, I felt it like... It was a good time. It was break. just kind of like a good time for... Obviously, we didn't want to break from each other. We're like really attached to each other. Like all of our friends say that. <laughs> We're very attached to each other. We're really each other's best friend. But even though you love each other, sometimes you do need a break. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think so many people see it as like, oh, it's a bad thing. I remember when we moved apart and people thought like, mm -hmm. oh, what's happening to your relationship? But really, I mean, sometimes you just need some space, you know, and it's not a bad mm -hmm. thing at all. If it's in it's return... Only a, it's only a bad thing because people... Usually when mm -hmm. they take a break, it usually means they're gonna break up or mm -hmm. they're they are trying to look for somebody else. Mm -hmm. If you go in the mindset of, on a break, if you go on a break with your boyfriend, boyfriend girlfriend, and you have the mindset to I'm look leaving. at, you know, mm -hmm. look at other people and like looking for a new relationship, then you're most likely not. Yeah, you're setting break. yourself up for that. Yeah. <laughs> but we were only taking breaks because we, it's kind of like a computer. Once in a while, you just have to reset it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we were doing. Yeah, and like we saw each other all the time. We were still together. <laughs> I mean, everything was good. I mean, you guys saw on the vlogs, but I think that was, I thought that was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we lived at the new place for about a year, mm -hmm. right? And then moved back to the bay. Which was we honestly didn't want to move back at <laughs> yeah. all. Yeah, but. Many reasons. Um, biggest reason was family. Family. Mm -hmm. They were just like nagging about how far we were, and we felt lonely too. It's not like all their fault or anything, mm -hmm. but it, it's just like we felt a little lonely here. Mm. And we're both like, believe it or not, we're very introverted people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that that's how a lot of YouTubers are as well. Yeah. You know because. You're comfortable, co comfortable with the mm -hmm. camera, but when there's people around, it's very different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially for me. Yeah. Many of you who have met us, actually, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you guys have experienced like, oh, how come they're a little different from like, you know, camera? Because, mm -hmm. you know, we're not used to having somebody watching us and just mm -hmm. all like, that stuff. Yeah. Like in-person interaction. Yeah. Like yeah. this is something I, we both struggle with. I think maybe I struggle a little more than you is that we feel and i don't want to just throw that word around because i know like literally every youtuber says they have anxiety um but you know it, it's true amongst a lot of people and i think you do develop anxiety from this job and this is just the truth about youtube like i have never really been an anxious person but since having this channel and stuff like that although i know that the attention is always positive i think it's just something that i didn't grow up being used to you know i was always very introverted i never thought that i would walk out my house or like go grocery shopping and then run into people at all mm -hmm. you know and although i always know that it's just a love like like a very loving warming thing and i'm very truly happy about it i can't help but I can't control my emotions. I get very anxious and I think you do too. Like we both deal with it. Some days are better than others. So therefore sometimes yeah. like when we bump into you guys, even though we're very excited, it's hard to express that because we're nervous. Like we're very nervous. Mm -hmm. We don't know what to say and we feel like we have to say something, right? And if there's even mm -hmm. two seconds of just silence, because mm -hmm. sometimes some of you guys, when you guys meet us, like, you know, naturally you, you say hi and then afterwards you're just like, Oh my god, what mm -hmm. else do I say? So you feel a little nervous. I feel nervous. That two mm -hmm. seconds of quietness feels like two minutes of just standing there. Yeah. Hi. And, like, and I think we put that we put that on ourselves too. Mm -hmm. We feel like because we're always entertaining in the vlogs, we need to entertain in person too. Mm -hmm. Right? Like at least that's how I am. Yeah. Like I feel like if I meet you guys, I want to make sure you guys don't feel like I'm not conversating with you because yeah. obviously I do want to talk to you. We want to make you feel comfortable, yeah. but because we don't feel comfortable, that naturally makes maybe some of you guys not feel yeah. comfortable. <laughs> it's just like, 
I'm so sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm so sorry. I just, I've always been a, I don't know, like very I very introverted. Not like very introverted. <laughs> I'm not very introverted. I am somewhat, but mm -hmm. I get stage fright. So mm -hmm. when I was in high school, like I, every time or like public speaking. Mm -hmm. Um, even not even public speaking like even like in a classroom full of everyone that I know and I You know, I can hang out with all these people But when it comes to people presenting. looking at me and I'm presenting or saying something I just freak out and I'm just like yeah ah, ah, Like I just want to cry yeah. <laughs> And it's a thing like people actually do get like a, what is it called? stage fright mm -hmm. or people are, who get very afraid of public speaking. Mm -hmm. You know, I was never, I mean, yeah, actually I was. In college, I got a lot better though. I used to get terrible stage fright. Like mm -hmm. I could not present like anything in class. Like I would literally almost pass out for those. And I've cried before, <laughs> like in, um, in middle school because mm -hmm. I had to present like my project and I felt so nervous. I was so nervous during that presentation that I just broke down. I didn't know what to do with myself. And then I got better in, in college. But yeah, it's it's a weird thing. I guess the best way to explain it is if you put yourselves in our shoes. <laughs> like it, it picture. Just really good. <laughs> I, don't, I know. I want to eat it, but it just seems really heavy right now. Share one. Yeah. But I guess. I, I've never understood it in the past like not that we're like a celebrity or anything. We're far from that But we're still not I mean we've realized that we're not just an average person who can go out and not get recognized um, So I guess like the best way to kind of picture it is imagine if you Anytime you went out you you may get recognized and sometimes it's good or sometimes it's bad sometimes You know, I think our favorite is when you guys are genuinely just wanting to like chat that's my favorite. Mm. I love that. And there's been a few times I think that has kind of, in a way, scared me. And I just want to put this out there. Like, I, I've always thought about this and I just don't want to bring it up because I don't want to make you guys think that I'm being ungrateful or that I don't want to see you guys because that's really not the case. It truly is something that I'm dealing with myself mm. that I'm still learning to deal with. Um, and a but, lot of YouTubers yeah. are. But there's Especially. been a few times where we were out and I'm just having a bad day and someone saw us and got really excited and just started screaming like at the top of their lungs and I just those moments and it's happened many times <laughs> it has kind of traumatized me a little bit like I just don't know what to do with myself mm -hmm. and I feel horrible about it like there was a time where this girl came up and she started screaming like oh my god oh my god it's you it's you and she grabbed me and started just like shaking me and I was just so taken back at that moment and I knew she was just super excited but it really like made my anxiety like shoot up and um, you know that's happened many times so I think experiences like that sometimes have just I guess scared me and mm -hmm. I don't know how to really deal with it sometimes because I don't know if I'm gonna get that type of reaction again um, so yeah I don't know how we got on this topic but I just want to share that because I think not enough youtubers share how they truly feel sometimes mm -hmm. because they don't want to come off like being ungrateful or rude but i think you guys get me um it's it's honestly because a lot of people try to twist your words mm -hmm. that's why youtubers are scared of like voicing their opinions yeah because like people will always find a way a really good way to twist your words mm -hmm. like and the thing is sometimes some people twist your words so good that they make you think like wait that's not what i meant but Dang, you had a point. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Um, yeah, we, we just we just get scared sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know those things they don't develop overnight. They're yeah. just constant, you know. And mm -hmm. I I could feel you a little bit on that. You know, like the screaming, like mm -hmm. that really. I don't know. It makes me like it doesn't make me angry. Don't get me wrong. It mm -hmm. doesn't like get me angry, but it does make me think like the fastest way I can get away from this, you mm -hmm. know? Because it's, in a way, you're like shocked by something that you weren't ready for. And it draws so, so much attention. Mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. in places like a mall or like a store, you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's tight spaces, there's a lot of people and, you know, naturally when somebody screams, everybody looks. Mm -hmm. And when all eyes are on you, you just feel like... Stage fright. <laughs> ah, stage fright, yeah. why is the whole mall looking at me? Yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone in this store looking at me? <laughs> hey you! Everybody! Go back to shop! 
laughing. <laughs> I know, I know. And then yeah. sometimes we would even have people come up like, are you famous? Yeah. And that, oh God, oh God. <laughs> We absolutely cringe mm, at the word famous. Word, yeah. Like whenever anyone says like, oh, they're YouTube famous or like they're famous, we're just like, ah, no, and no. Then, oh, you guys are so humble and we're just like, no. <laughs> it's just not something, I think like, we didn't go into YouTube for fame, therefore, we don't want to be famous. Recognize, you not, know? not recognized. We don't want to. We don't want to be known. We, we don't want to draw that type of attention uh -huh. where people think we're famous and then I don't know where people want photos from us, not knowing what we do. I've had a and mom then do that before. They go home and then find out we're just YouTubers. You know, mm -hmm. it's like. Oh. One time I had this mom at the mall. Mm -hmm. Like th these girls took a photo with me and then she comes up to me. She's like, oh, Let me take a photo. You famous? And I'm like, No. And she's like, Oh, let me take a picture. And she just took a picture with me. I'm like, Okay. That was hilarious. She was like the funniest Asian Asian mom. I know. I'm like. She was like a little sure. lady too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it truly is a blessing. Like mm -hmm. we, yeah. like there are times where we get so like freaked out by like an encounter, and freaked out is not the right word. I shouldn't say freaked out, but nervous. But then we will think back to times where like literally like there there are so many of you who I've met that would make me cry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like I can just feel that you love us. Mm -hmm. It makes me emotional even like talking about it. I feel like sometimes we even feel bad for even just leaving. Mm -hmm. You know, like how great would it be if we always, every time we were out, we just had the time of our lives. Mm -hmm. And then every time we meet them, we just like say we're going to Target and then we meet them. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's go to the home decor section. Mm -hmm. Set up a little place. Yeah. Sit down and let's talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. I Love think, knowledge. yeah, if ever you guys bump into us, please don't feel like we're famous people and that all you want is a photo because this Unless is something... we feel that from you, mm -hmm. and trust me, we could feel it. <laughs> like, the less we feel that from you, the, I guess, the better time we have with each yeah, other. Like, yeah, we can like sit down and really just talk. Mm -hmm. My Our favorite would be when we meet some of you guys and you'd be like, hey, I, I think I, I watch your videos on YouTube. We're like, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you do? And then we just start talking. And yeah. I get that a photo is for memories and a lot of people want to take a photo and it's fine. But sometimes when you guys, or sometimes when we meet someone and they come up and they're just like, can we just take a picture? And then that's it. It almost feels like I, I feel a little empty. Mm -hmm. Like I, I wanted to get to know you and, um, just don't feel like we're famous people and like oh yeah. like all you can get is a photo. You know, we mm. would love to talk. We would mm. love to get to know you. We want to know like how you're doing today and like why you like us or like why you watch us. You know, we want to have that connection mm. with you. And we sometimes when we feel that all they want is a photo, it feels a little impersonal yeah. and it sometimes makes us think like is that all you you see us as like just famous people and then you post a picture of us online that you saw us and and that's it you know like mm -hmm. we want to get just just to like be friends you know and just be normal and like just have a conversation so i love i love 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 when i i bump into someone like say at the gym or at the mall and they're just like hey how are you doing today and then we just start talking about our day i love that or our dogs yeah or our <laughs> dogs <clears throat> or when you guys have rabbits <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah Cause then we can talk about like how we can evict these guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or no, maybe it's just us that has this crazy Oakland rabbit with legs. <laughs> Miso man. Uh, Miso's great. He's I great. Love we him. just love making fun of him. It's, mm -hmm. it's because he's he's so he's such a he's such a, <laughs> he's such a dick, honestly. Like he, he makes so many messes throughout the day that like we just mm -hmm. like it's funny to make fun of him yeah. for that. Because I feel like he, he has a voice. Mm -hmm. He has a if, voice. If I can talk to him, <laughs> he is, if he was a person, he would be like the most privileged child. Like he's the mm -hmm. guy that you would hate in your elementary school. He's but so he's privileged. also the sweetest. He is also a sweetheart though. Mm -hmm. Like if he loves you, he loves you. Mm -hmm. But if he's having a bad day he can care less about how you feel <laughs> like yeah. that's what i love about him too though he is so human mm -hmm. yeah he's like a human rabbit yeah um because we ba so for those who don't know where we got me so basically one a viewer basically just messaged us and said hey i found this rabbit in the oakland park and 
we can't keep it. So mm -hmm. do you think you can find somebody to keep it? And when I saw a photo, I was just like, yeah, 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 it's super tiny, you know, like mm -hmm. we could definitely find a home for it. It was very like, it was like a very blurry photo. We didn't even yeah. know what we were getting <clears throat> ourselves into. Mm -hmm. And then the first day we took him home, we were just like looking at him. And then I was like, well, we could use another rabbit, mm -hmm. you know? And no, nah, you weren't like that. Yeah. You were more like uh, we keeping this guy. <laughs> as we just picked him up from the girls, we like met up at like a school or something like mm -hmm. that. We, we put him in the car and we just like take a look at him, and Wa just looks at me. We're keeping him. <laughs> I'm like, no, we're not. We're not because we had just lost Bun Bun at the time. Mm -hmm. I think it was two weeks after we lost Bun Bun. Yeah. So I was just not emotionally ready for it yet. I was like, no, 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 babe, like we're not keeping him. And he was like, no, babe, like we're keeping him. And then once I saw the connection Michi had with him, I was like, we keep him. Yeah. She loved him. She yeah. hates him now, but she <laughs> loved him. It's cause, okay, so back to the story. So Miso, because he was so young and he was exposed to all these things that were harmless to him, you know, like Michi being super sweet to rabbits, you mm -hmm. know, not, for me, so he doesn't know that dogs can be, you know, they can like, hurt you. They can really hurt them, and that's just the image that he got since the beginning. Yeah. He just thinks, okay, any other animal out in this world is nice and it won't hurt me. Mm -hmm. Like these humans, I don't do anything and they feed me. So mm -hmm. naturally, he's just ready and he does anything he wants. Like he's not scared of anything. Like if he sees a, I don't know, a coyote, he might be like, oh, I might want to go over there and yeah. boss him like how I boss dogs, you know? Mm -hmm. But like. Yeah. He's, he's just so sweet still like although he's so reckless mm -hmm. like when he when it comes down to it and you want to spend time with him he will spend so much time with you and that's what okay, makes him okay. different from any other rabbits that we've had because uh -huh. rabbits are just naturally prey animals so anything bigger that comes to them they're like oh I'm scared they're more like afraid yeah but mm -hmm. with me so like he loves pets he loves um he loves hugs he loves mm -hmm. you having you carry him he, mm -hmm. he's honestly a weird rabbit he's yeah he's so <laughs> special and you know till this day we're still trying to like break sesame out of her shell like yeah. she's still and we joke about this like she feels like our friend's rabbit and we're just watching her <laughs> like we still haven't created that bond and yeah. it's it's been hard yeah like a few of you suggested that well maybe because they're in the room um they're not seeing you enough but no we're in yeah. there all the time yeah. like we don't vlog it a lot because that room is just like a mess but i'm in there a lot i go in there every day and i sit inside just like trying to get her to come to me yeah. but it's she's not breaking out of her shell mm -hmm. and it has a lot to do with her past too yeah. she was a rescue and we don't really know much aside from the fact that she was pulled out from bunny world from a high kill shelter. So she was gonna be put down because I think she was pregnant at the time and a shelter does not need more babies, you know, more animals. So they were gonna put her down and then Bunny World Foundation, by the way, amazing. Like if you guys are looking to adopt a rabbit, please look at rescues or like your local shelter. But Bunny World, they're amazing. They're here in LA and they have events every Sunday, <laughs> every Sunday at the Petco mm -hmm. in Pasadena. Um, check it out, by the way, if you guys are looking to adopt a rabbit, they're always yeah. there every Sunday. Um, so yeah they pulled her out of that shelter and i think she had to have oh she had her babies but none of them lived yeah so she comes from just that trauma you know she was pregnant she was lost and she was just kept in a cage and then she was rescued she gave birth but all of her babies didn't make it so she is very very like broken i think yeah i yeah. think she has no connections with, with humans, humans at all the only thing she can think of humans is they're horrible <laughs> and we are i mean but you know although we try to give her everything that we gave our previous rabbits like for her because we don't have a rabbit that came from like abuse mm -hmm. um we never really experienced this before we just we're just hoping that with time yeah it'll, we're really it'll hoping change. yeah yeah so she's broken out of her shell a little bit yeah. She will come up to us if we have food. Yeah. That's good. She used food. to not even come to us with food. Yeah, we would have to like leave it in front of her and like run real quick. Yeah, we have to walk away. Like we can't put the food there too slow because then if it's too slow, then she'll run away and then we have to pick that new spot to mm -hmm. drop the food. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was such a process, man. It was like, yeah. ah, even walking in, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> get your food back. Don't be scared of me. Ah. <laughs> Please don't be scared of me! Oh my god, the type of humans we are. Yeah. I mean, pet owners we are. Like, I know. So yeah, like so many of you guys ask us about what is it like, you know, having 
a zoo. I mean, out of all our friends, we don't know anyone that has like three dogs, two rabbits. At one point, we had like eight fish. I will say we're pretty mm -hmm. like animal people. Yeah. <laughs> and we won't change it for anything mm -hmm. like there are moments where wana will be like oh you see that person traveling oh we could be doing that like we could go there yeah. but oh these rabbits like and then we complain about it too complain about it i think our tone is always complaining but it's like tough love we love mm -hmm. them so much and i really wouldn't trade it for anything like my dogs and my rabbits bring me so much joy it's like nothing i've ever had before yeah. Are you a fool? No, I'm just thinking about like how like, you know, we have so much fun with them that it's kind mm -hmm. of like our form of entertainment, you know? Yeah. Some people are addicted to Fortnite. Porn. <laughs> Sorry. But some people are like, they really like watching TV, you know, that's their form of entertainment. Mm -hmm. When they're home, nothing to do, they watch TV and they get attached to that. For us, it's like the rabbits and mm -hmm. the dogs because like, no matter what you're doing at home, when you have three, when you have five animals, you're bound to see one every 30 seconds, you mm -hmm. know? And then we just, like, I don't know, we just get bored and start messing with them. Or playing with them. Playing with them, taking them to the yard. So we're just constantly with them so much that, like, it... It's part of our life. And yeah, like, for sure part of our life. But, mm -hmm. like, it's it's like that connection that, that we made with each other mm -hmm. that makes us, like, kind of... Inseparable. inseparable. <laughs> yeah, I know. that The connection we have with all of them, it's... Yeah, it's like I don't know when I will not have so many pets. Like yeah. maybe if we have children, then in that case, maybe. But nah. even then, <laughs> I'm that meme where it's, well, how does the meme go? Basically, I'm worried that when I have a child and it's allergic to dogs, I'm going to have to give away my child. <laughs> That's me, okay? I don't know what I would do if we had a child and they were allergic to animals. Yeah. I would not know what to do at all and it feels like the right thing to say you know obviously it's like keep your child right I mean of course I'm keeping my child but like I truly feel like these animals are my kids and I cannot sacrifice them at all mm -hmm. so yeah. please please that cannot happen make them allergic to snakes please <laughs> I, I wish I was allergic to them <laughs> oh no I mean like our children oh yeah well I mean, you wouldn't really encounter a snake. I don't know, I just don't like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hates snakes. <sighs> just the look of them. What do I hate? Spiders. I'm getting better though. I'm not that scared of spiders yeah. anymore. That would be true. Yeah, I'm not as scared of, spi of spiders and true. insects in general anymore. Yeah. What am I afraid of? Dogs. Big dogs. Mm, I am a little afraid. Believe it or not, I mean, I don't know why I said believe it or not. You won't believe it because I'm telling you. <laughs> I grew up with a phobia of dogs, like legit phobia. I've like been on the verge of a panic attack because I saw a dog within five feet from me, or not even five feet, 20 feet from me. When I encounter a dog as a kid, I would get so scared that I, I can't move. Like my body will completely freeze. And that's happened to me before. I, I walked into the store when I was a kid and there was this lady that walked in with her dog and I got so scared, my body froze. And in my mind, I was like, run! run! But I couldn't move, I was, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So that's a legit phobia. I was mm -hmm. actually tra like really afraid of dogs growing up and that's actually why I have money. My dad one day was like, I'm done with this because it was such a problem having me go out. Like I never went to parks growing up. Um, when I would go in neighborhoods, like even walking around and if dogs ran at the gate or if I saw a dog across the street, I would literally like freak out. So then one day my dad was like, I'm tired of this. Like I'm getting you a dog and this is going to help with your phobia. <laughs> like he couldn't have taken me to the dog park, but he got me a dog. So that's how money came about. But yeah, I still feel like I hold on to that phobia a little bit. Like whenever I encounter big, big dogs, like not the little ones, um, but anything a little bigger than Michi actually does scare me still. I mean, I love dogs, so I hate that I feel like that, but I, I do get nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless I can really feel that that dog is super friendly and loving. Yeah. If I just feel a little bit of like aggression in a big dog, I'm like, uh-uh, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Because mm -hmm. it's scary, they're huge. Mm -hmm. you know? 
Mm. I know. I'm like, why am I scared? Oh. I love dogs. Mm. <laughs> wow. Well, this was a good talk. Yeah, it was a really long talk. And we fail. Like, why do we still have so much food? Well, that was kind of the point to get breakfast and True. lunch. True. Well, I think that's it yeah. for, this, for this long, 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 long... I uh, love this. Like, what is this called? Like... Sekvana? Sekvana. I mean, yeah, Sekvana. Sekvana. But, like, but like talking also. Mm. Um, but yeah, let us know in the next um, Sekvana what we should talk about. Um, mm -hmm. I think it'll be great to... To, to have a certain topic maybe mm -hmm. and then we can go off that because mm -hmm. this was super natural we, what we talked about today it was just like whatever came up to your mind mm -hmm. we just spoke about it yeah and or if, we... if that's what you guys want to like if you just want us to ramble on mm -hmm. talk about whatever comes to mind that's i actually fun. love that I, I really enjoyed this talk today mm -hmm. i feel like i finally was able to tell you guys about the anxious feelings i feel when i meet you guys and that's something i really really been wanting to share yeah. because you guys are a big part of my life and that also is a big part of my life you know yep same. so i i've always wanted to share that with you guys that, i want yeah. i want to be honest you know i i and if ever i've met you and you felt like my mood was a little off just know that i don't mean any type of like rudeness from it it's mm -hmm. not you it's me it yep. really is me um same so with yeah because mm -hmm. naturally i it's only on camera where you guys always see me like, hey guys, mm -hmm. come on you world! But like, all my friends can like, stand behind this too. Like, when mm -hmm. I am out and I'm just thinking to myself, my face looks like I'm... You have RBF. <laughs> yeah, he has RBF. Yeah, ever, ever since like, even high, high school and before high school, mm -hmm. middle school, ever since, I've always been told that like, I look, I look mad. Yeah, actually... And I, the thing is, I wa I'm a really fast walker. Like, mm -hmm. I can't pace myself when it comes to walking. So naturally, everyone thought that I was pissed off all the time because I would walk really fast mm -hmm. and I'm just like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we first started hanging mm -hmm. out, Sophie would always come up to me and be like, Hey, is Wall okay? Like, is he mad? I'm like, no! I'm like, that's how he is! Yeah. Like, he is always just like, his face is like... This. Sometimes I'm quiet, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm thinking to myself and... I could be between her and Sophie and Silas, everyone on the table mm -hmm. and I would just zone out and think about something else. Yeah. <laughs> They'll probably think I'm like pissed off. Yeah, but I'm really glad. I'm really glad we got to talk about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really, really enjoyed this. This was so great. It was so fun. Yeah, I definitely want one of these at least once a month. At least mm -hmm. once a month. Yeah. Um, but thank you all so much. Like, I can't believe we're here at our 600, 600. Yeah. 600 episodes. That's pretty crazy. Like, that's more than friends. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Wait, no. Friends have. No, actually, no. There are like 20 seasons to Friends, right? I don't know. 20 seasons, say each season has... Like 10 episodes? 10 episodes, that's 200. Oh wait, alright, so okay. we passed, passed Friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if there aren't 20 seasons in Friends, for all the Friends fans, don't jump on me for it, please! <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm just a Chinese TV watcher! I just, I just started getting into Friends. We actually just did though, and I love it. I love it. I love yeah, it. I love it. It's really funny. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for all the support you have given us. You guys are amazing. All of our friends and our family that reads our comments always say like, "Y'all got the best." Like, you guys are all always so supportive. Mm -hmm. So you guys are the sweetest. We mm -hmm. couldn't have done any of this without you guys. Mm -hmm. So that's why we appreciate you guys so much because we we know we know that without you guys mm -hmm. we would be nothing. Honestly, yeah. and. Just want to let you guys know our appreciation for mm -hmm. that. And just like you guys always tell us, like, your vlog can make my day. Just know that your comments make our day. Mm -hmm. We love reading the comments and, like, laughing yep. with you guys because we have, like, the same humor. Right, you know, right. you guys would always catch all the funny moments that when we're editing, we're like, they're going to like that moment. <laughs> and you guys always catch it. Yeah. And, yeah, just know that the positive impact that we have on you, you have given us. So, yeah. thank you so much. We love you. And are we continuing to vlog today or is this just too long? I think it may be too long. Yeah, yeah so I think we're going to just end it here. Um, yeah. Yeah, we will see you guys in our next vlog. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, not to be pushy, but please subscribe and turn on your notifications. And maybe you can tell your friends to subscribe even if they don't watch it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. What's going on, babe? <laughs> oh my god. He's not even helping your meal. <laughs> okay.
Because when, when, when I caught myself, I just like <laughs> pulled my armpit a little bit. Why? Why is this silly? <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs>